guys. All right, continuing with our discussion on proprioception. It's a difficult topic and doesn't seem like one that can be summed up. So I'm just going to start picking at it. So before we talked about proprioception is imagine your insides of this unknown room. And by insides, I mean your thoughts, feelings, intuition, sensations, and it's moving, okay? So you're going about your day. And I wanna talk about the slippery names. So when we propriocept, we can go in there and we're like reaching around like, what is that? It's kind of like going to the bathroom at night when you're looking through the light switch. You're like, what is, where is that? Where is that light, that sense of self that's going to, you know, help me feel more comfortable? So the example I'm going to use for the slippery names is... Slippery names is when things that we experience, um, we call them things, and then sometimes the same feeling, the same, oh, there it is, can have a different name. And when we have options on what we can name it, it seems to help me Feel more conscious. Maybe not more control. Maybe it still feels like, oh, I don't, I don't have control. But I feel more conscious and something feels better. So the example I'm going to use is fear. Okay. So I've, my opinion or in my experience or something like that for me was at first it was scary to feel fear. And I think a lot of people can empathize with this. It's scary to feel fear, especially consciously or out loud, because I don't want people to think I'm afraid. I don't want to be labeled a coward. I don't want people not to trust me because I'm scared. So when I do that, it's almost like shouting into the room. If there's any fear down there, I don't want to find you. Okay, so when we say we, we don't want to feel fear, it's like it's like our body's kind of listening. Like, oh, he doesn't want to feel fear, so you know, we've got to redirect it into other things. So what's interesting is when I first started feeling my fear consciously, like, ah, I'm scared, ah, I'm afraid, ah, I feel my fear. It's like it's mine. Um I, f I didn't feel weak, which is what I think we're all worried that the world's going to perceive us as. I didn't feel weak. I actually felt strong. Like, I gave myself some kudos, like, oh, good job, you felt your fear. And then I had more data, like, oh, all of this out here in the outside world is going down right now. How do I feel? Oh, I actually feel a little fear. This experience could be new. I don't know of what this, how this person is going to react. It could be any number of things. So I feel my fear, and all of a sudden, I feel stronger. Like, oh, this is as bad as it's going to get. And that's when the slippery names thing comes up. That is courage. Okay? So it's not, I'm not afraid. You know, that, that kind of turns into recklessness. It's, oh, I'm afraid. Okay, that's the choice I'm going to make. Here we go. That's when fear, its label, turns into courage. And it's actually just like energy. You know, performers will feel it. They'll be like, when a performer's first starting out, they might think, oh, I'm nervous. And then you meet these other performers that have been doing this a while, and they're like, oh, that's, that's butterflies. That's like my body giving me energy to kick some ass on stage. You know, it's like they start changing the way they relate to this sensation. I'm terrified. You know, and they just kind of crumble. Or, oh, I know this sensation. 
This isn't the most comfortable sensation, but it's going to be very useful in about 10 minutes when I go on stage. So, so play a game this week. Notice your fear. Notice your fear. And what's interesting is fear felt goes in a bank account called faith. And that's what allows the name to change. Every time you feel your fear and it doesn't kill you, you'll be able to relate with that sensation differently. It'll just, and it's funny, the sensation actually might change. I have, that's, that's garlic on my face. Thanks, nobody told me there's garlic on my face. So that, that, so fear felt is courage and it goes into a bank account called faith. And it's awesome because we don't seem to ever lose as we build up the fear we've felt. We don't ever seem to lose like our stockpile of faith. And it's, it's like a million, it's a million pictures on your phone or memories in your data bank or, or movies you've seen that just prove to you that this ain't going to kill you. It might suck for a little while. And then, you know, then courage. So as you go through this, this weekend, this week, in casual ways, just notice, oh, that was a little bit of fear. You might pick it up as nervousness. Nervousness is a little bit of fear, a wee bit. And, you know, terror is a lot of fear. Um, you know, you can pick it up any way you want and then notice, oh, I feel my fear. And then kind of smile like, yeah, good job. Good job. I felt my fear. Thanks.